Now, you mentioned that it won an award. I'm just going to read that out because I don't think I could remember it. The State Library of Queensland's <laughs> Glendower Award for an Emerging and Queensland Writer. So that was in yep. 2019. So yep. what did winning that award mean for you as a writer? I guess it meant everything kind of like that's why I'm here. That's why it's coming out. I think I, I had thought that I would go down the kind of traditional finding an agent and then submitting to publishers and, and the waiting that a lot of my writing peers talk about. And then I kind of saw the entries open for the Queensland Literary Awards unpublished manuscript category on a whim one day. And I thought, okay, I'll, I'll submit to that as well. I'm submitting to all these other places. And then a couple of months later, I got a call saying I've been shortlisted and I was like, cool, but there's no way mine is going to win. Look at all the others. Look how highbrow and literary they are. <laughs> and then another month later, I got an email saying that it had won its category and a publishing contract, which was crazy. And I went to the Queensland Literary Awards and nearly fainted having to do my speech. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Melissa Lukashenko shook my hand and it was like so sweaty. I was like, please don't <laughs> shake it. <laughs> um, and then I got, I think, I always say I feel like I got really lucky because then the my publishing contract with UQP that came as part of that prize brought me to my brilliant editor, Felicity, who I just love, and my publisher, Claire Hume, who is incredible as well. So I think... All in all, it ended. I ended up exactly where I was supposed to be, but kind of in a pretty roundabout, I guess, I guess magical kind of way. And and I always encourage people to submit to prizes like that now because you just never know. Like if if your book is meant to go to those people, then it will. Yeah, meant to find its home. Mm. 